together. No, it does, does. So why did you choose political science? Political science, hmm. I've been thinking about it. Absolutely love the biology. I love many things, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I uh, used to read a lot. Okay. I used to go and visit my my grandma. She had this beautiful old library full of books, and I started to with the three musketeers, think like this. And I was uh, maybe fifth grade. It wasn't really content-wise. I don't know. My grandma just let me read it, but <laughs> so I read it. But since then. I, I was really intrigued about the relations to be, of people, societies, how things are were evolving, and I considered a political science to be to be a potentially interesting thing to study. Yeah. So I've decided to do so. Wow. And uh, and uh, here I am. Mm. Afterwards. So were you studying it with the intention to get into foreign service, or you were just studying it because you loved it? Uh, I've. Of course, I mean, I had a, had a, some ambition, kind of a future yeah. in mind. I wouldn't be studying it because I like it, <laughs> but I wanted to go that way. But I wasn't sure yet yes. whether it's going to be a diplomatic service or it's mm. going to be sociology. You know, you could have a, you, you could work for the NGO with the political science. You have to be clever cookie in different kind of fields. Oh. And uh, I consider it, I, I actually consider it to be great uh, general knowledge. Yes. I mean, everybody should get a bit of a political science in the studies. We, we have it in our secondary schools because mm -hmm. it gives you information about society, how things work. Mm -hmm. so, but, but I did have in my mind that I would love to do uh, something with international relations. Oh. I always, always felt like I want to represent uh, my country, Slovakia, because of course, you know, we are members of the European Union and at the time we were just entering the European Union and you can work for, for European Foreign Service, for example, mm -hmm. or you can work for UN international organizations. Yes. When you achieve, you, 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 aim to, um, you aim for the bigger goals, yes. for, for the good of humanity, which I absolutely love. But I, I certainly I would like to be there on the national level mm. because I think you can do a little bit more change and a little bit more power. Yes. So, so this was my intention to somehow be involved but, uh, but after, uh, in, in my fourth grade, this is what I did, I would recommend to everybody, I did internship. Okay. Because this is what we do during the university studies, we did an internship. Mm -hmm. I did it in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Oh. And uh, I remember at the time, it was in 2000, and there was a millennial summit of the UN. Mm -hmm. So we have a president going in, prime minister, so it was buzzing busy. Yeah. You know, so this, this inter internship was not only about looking here and there, mm -hmm. and, but I was fully fledgedly involved and it really did help in the future. And it, it, it was the moment I've decided mm -hmm. that I would absolutely love to come in yes. afterwards. Yes. But after school, I did not enter the foreign, foreign service yet. Okay. I, I worked for a year and a half for for the institution which was dealing with the pre-accession um, procedure of Slovakia to European Union okay. because we become member a little bit later in yes. three years. Well, the, the year I finished my university yes. study, so, so I was there in a team dealing with uh, and closely cooperating with the European Commission on our uh, entry to the European Union. Mm -hmm. I helped somehow as much as I could to, to create um, the documentation and, and, and our priorities, how shall we, what, what are those that will be uh, will covered with the pre-accession funds, for example, of yes. financial, uh, financial support, yes. you know, so, so this was a year and a half of absolutely great work. Hmm. Uh, so dealing with a bit of a EU yeah. and this, this, this overlap, yes. because, you know, European Union, our members, uh, I mean, the, the policy is in a way, internal policy. For us, it's not, not a foreign policy right. because it, it's, we are so interconnected, intertwined, yes. intertwined of course. Yes. But then afterwards, my heart was still beeping, like I wanted to leave Slovakia for a while. Oh. I used to travel a lot prior. Okay. And uh, 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 there was the opening uh, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, so I signed. I did pass the test. It was a, one of the hardest entry tests. You had like few rounds. So I've managed to be at the end uh, it was in English, last one, the interview was in English, of mm -hmm. course, and you, I, I had different people sitting in. Now I know all of them, now, now you know, there were yes. senior colleagues, but at the time I was a, it was a freshman, yes. you know, so, so, and I've managed to get in, and since then I worked at the, at the MFA since 2003. Wow. And wow. still now, so it took me quite a while, nearly 20 years, yes. well, 18 years to get the position of ambassador. Where of course, now. we have a policy. Yeah. So I'm a career diplomat. Mm. I am not a political appointee. Mm. So so I did uh, all my steps 
yeah. uh, up to the position that I'm in now. What are those steps like? So, um, did you serve in other countries in different capacities? Or of course, of course, okay. I did. I did. This is not my first posting. Mm -hmm. it, it is pre preconditioned for that, of course, because you all go all up the ranks, yes. diplomatic ranks, yeah. and each of the ranks, uh, of course, require specific uh, um, skills. And it is it is quite uh, black on the paper. Um, um, we have a regulation how 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 we should proceed, okay. career wise. Okay. So, uh, for example, if you'd like to have a, I'm telling you, second secretary, or, which is like middle 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 level of the diplomatic mm -hmm. uh, diplomatic um, uh, representation, you need to have at least two postings. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to that, of course, and as well, you do you write a thesis, which yes. you have to somehow then present yes. to the committee. And if you done that, it's, it's and it's um, it's um, well well received. Mm. You'll be given, for example, the, the, the next step. The, the next step. Yeah. yeah. So this is how you go slow, uh, st step by step. Okay. Prior, prior to this, of course. No, and I have to tell you something very yes. specific. Mm -hmm. You know, when the murder comes to the, the scene of the crime. So <laughs> I've started my career in, uh, in Kenya. My first posting was in Nairobi in 2005. Right. Yes, until 2009. So this was the Kenya. And then I, I went to Addis Ababa, to Ethiopia, which, which where I've been accredited to, to, uh, to African Union. Right. But, but within the Kenya, my main responsibility, which was a great uh, experience as well, was to cover our membership in the Security Council. In Slovakia, mm. we were a non-permanent member of the Security Council, as Kenya is now. Yes. So the job you're doing now as a country, we used we did it in 2005 Five. and six. Yes. So and I was the one uh, dealing with the, the continent of the Great Lakes and Horn of Africa. Wow. So I was sending it home. It was it was, I mean, tough work. Yes. It was it was the most intensive period of my of 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 of, of uh, time-consuming work. Yes. But 